Welcome back to another video. A video here on the channel. Let me take you back for a moment. The year was Y2K. That's uh, 2000 for those of you who don't know. The world was about to come to an end. Computers were going to crash. But if you're watching this video, you know the world didn't come to an end and computers didn't crash. But here we are back in the year 2000 and I was just starting to smoke a pipe. Didn't really know much about smoking pipes and nobody really told me anything. I remember having a lot of trouble keeping it lit and a gentleman told me, he said, you gotta pack it, but don't pack it too tight, but make sure you pack it tight enough. Well, to be honest, I had no idea what that meant. So, let's talk about that today. If you're a first time pipe smoker, hopefully this will help you out. If you are a seasoned pipe smoker and I'm giving wrong information, leave a, a comment in the comments or something and, and square me away, okay? First of all, let's talk about your different types of, of pipes, all right? Let's go sit down, let's talk about what we've got. All right, there are three main types of pipe. You've got your briar pipe, your merchant, and your corn cob. Uh, these other ones are briar pipes also. Now, those are your three main kind. You do have like clay and you have rosewood and, and that kind of stuff too, but those are your three main ones. Originally, pipes were made in clay. And then in the 18, sorry, 1700s, 1723, I think, but don't quote me on that, they came out with the Mershon. Now that is a Turkish, stonish, woodish kind of thing that's carved out. And typically, they only come from Turkey. Uh, it's, a, it's a German word. Don't know how they pronounce it in Germany, but uh, typically they come, whoa, in a case. They're all handmade, and they come in a fitted case, very similar to that. And they range from, from prices, uh, usually starting around $100, and they go up into the four, five, six dollars $600 range. Now these come, they start out very white, and as you smoke them, they turn color. There is a way to season them. You're not supposed to smoke them uh, with your hands at first. You should wear gloves your first couple times smoking them. They do need to cool off in between smokes you can't just smoke them repeatedly and you do you do clean them these need to be cleaned uh the briar pipe uh briar is a wood it's a form of wood and uh the briar pipes came about in uh like the 1820s now a briar pipe you need to season the inside prior to smoking it or at least you should otherwise you're going to get a little bit bitter smoke you need to take like some beeswax or even some honey you need to coat the inside of it just a little bit and then let it sit for 24 hours and then smoke it. Now, regardless of what pipe that you use, whether it be a merchant or a briar or a corn cob, doesn't really matter because that's like a $5 pipe. Uh, that's pretty much disposable. I mean, not, you're not going to throw it away, but you're not really going to impress anybody. Uh, you want to start out with just a half a bowl. You want to fill your bowl up halfway. You want to smoke that a couple of times and before you actually give yourself a full bowl. Now, when you are smoking a briar pipe, you do not want to scrape the edges. We've got a couple different scrapers over here. So this is a packer. It's going to pack your pipe. It's also going to scrape it. This one here is a little bit fancier. It's a packer. It's a scraper and you've also got a little uh, poker too, okay? So... You don't want to scrape your briar pipe. You want that to build up. You want that tobacco to kind of cake around the edges. You want that to stay in there. That helps protect your wood from burning because as you know, wood burns. Your briar pipe, I'm sorry, your merchant pipe on the other hand, you want to keep that one clean. So packing it. Remember I told you I had a hard time keeping it lit. Now my grandfather smoked a pipe and I always saw him I always saw him, he'd, he'd light it and he'd take his finger and he'd kind of smash it down and then and then he'd puff on it and every once in a while he'd smash it down with his finger. Now you can do that with, with your finger, that's fine, but typically it's hot and you're going to get ash on your finger and you may not want ash on your finger. So I use a packer. So let's, uh, let's talk about this here. Now I am going to fill this up about three times. Uh, not, well, not fill it up, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pack it about three times. So I've got my tobacco in here. 
I'm going to get it, I'll take a scoop out of it, and I'm going to pack it pretty lightly. Just, just pack it down a little bit. Now I'm going to go and I'm going to scoop again. And I'm going to pack it down a little bit firmer. Then I'm going to give it my third and final one. Now this one, I'm going to pack this one down pretty good. I'm going to get all that edges cleaned up. And I'm going to pack that down pretty good. I'll swipe off what I have left over. All right. Now you want to keep your tobacco in some type of a tobacco pouch. If you look at this, this is lined. It's going to help keep maintain the moisture. Moisture is not going to leak out of that. It's like rubber lined. It'll keep your tobacco good for a lot longer. Uh, if you don't have a, a packer, you could actually use like a nail or something if you wanted. These at your local smoke shop are probably only a dollar, maybe two dollars, and then these are like maybe three or four. So. They're definitely worth the time and the money. Now, another thing that you need to do in order to keep your pipe lit, it's not uncommon for a pipe smoker to have to light his bowl twice. Once to start it out, halfway through he lights it again. I can almost always smoke my entire bowl without ever having to relight it because I continue to pack it. We'll talk about that when we go outside. So, uh, let's not smoke in the house because smoking will get yellow uh, ceiling tiles and yellow walls and stuff. So, uh, I don't recommend you smoke in the house. Another thing I'd like to mention is if you are using this video to smoke the marijuana, uh, I do not condone that if it is illegal in your state, all right? So, without further ado, let's head out and let's light this up. All right, we're back outside and we are ready to light this up. I like to use a match. These are actually uh, cigar and pipe matches because, as you see, they're quite long. I'll use it more than once sometimes. Once I burn it, I'll flick off the bad end and then I will use my cigarette lighter to relight my match and use my match. A couple reasons that you want to use a match and not a lighter, you get a better flavor. You don't want the gas flavor. It's much like grilling out. Charcoal will give yourself a lot better flavor than you do with gas just because you don't get that gas in there. That's the same thing. Whether you're smoking a, a pipe or a cigar, matches are always the way to go if you can. So, we're gonna well, it's what you get when you have old ones. That's why I have my trusty lighter here. We'll light our match the old fashioned way. All right, now you're gonna put this in, you're gonna puff it. You lift your match up, get a bigger fire. Lift your match, well, down, right? Up gives you a smaller fire. And I put it out because I picked around too long. Now the trick is, it's gonna light quite easily, but you wanna get that whole bowl lit when you're done. Whenever you pack it, always make sure you're puffing on it when you pack it because you don't wanna snub it out, okay? That first pack, you're gonna do very, very lightly just to keep the ash out of it. I want you to zoom in a little bit. I want you to get a good look at, at that nice glow of that cherry. Excellent. That's what you want. That's going to help your pipe burn longer. Now, unlike a cigarette, a pipe, you are not going to be able to just set down and come back to. It's not going to burn on its own. There's no chemicals in these tobacco. Much like uh, cigar tobacco, it is, I don't want to say it's the healthy alternative, but it's definitely not full of chemicals like your cigarettes are. So, you got to keep puffing on it. Now, remember when you pack it, always be puffing on it when you pack it or you'll snub it out.
We do not inhale pipe smoke. You can, but only amateurs do that, okay? You don't need to inhale it because it's actually tobacco. It's not just chemicals. So, you may find if you're a first time smoker or you're very new to the smoking, your tongue is going to get very hot. Now you can wait until your tongue is hot and you can drink some cold water or some type of cold liquid, maybe a beer, whatever is your preference. You're going to find it's actually going to make your tongue hotter. So you need to either start drinking something cold right away and puff, sip, puff, sip, puff, sip, or you need to get something warm. I like coffee. Drink coffee while you're smoking your pipe. It's going to actually like soothe your tongue. You're also going to notice that your Merchant pipe is going to um, distribute the heat a lot better than your Briar pipe is. It's not going to get as hot and you're going to get a lot cooler smoke than you are with Briar. And your corn cob, well, that's just your very basic. So, if I'm missing anything, uh, leave something in the comments. And if you have any questions that I didn't answer, go ahead and feel free to ask those in the comments. If you are watching my channel for the first time, and you haven't already, and you want to, please subscribe.